Hey there, Chad Bonja here for Ohio University Libraries. I've got the great pleasure of meeting with some OP students, the Ohio Program for Intensive English students, uh, who are doing some pretty challenging research. One group is researching convenience stores targeted to Asian international students, and the other is doing also doing a business plan on karaoke bars. Now both those are really, really niche industries or niche areas, and there's not really a whole lot specifically on each, each business. So this video kind of shows you what available information I think would best suit those, those students doing research on those topics. So here you go. Okay, so the first database we'll look at here is called IBIS World, and we're doing these in order of, the, of how they appear on my blog. So uh, just to kind of show you, if you go in here and search for karaoke, Karaoke is probably not the way to go because all you get is music publishing in the U.S., which is not really what you're looking at there. Okay, so what we're going to do is go back in and let's just look for um, let's just look for bars. Okay, or we could go um, here. We have bars and nightclubs in the U.S. Okay, so that's a good report that we could look at. It's not necessarily just a karaoke report, but it would give you information as far as who's going to uh, uh, to a bar, um, what the what the outlook is for bars and nightclubs in the U.S. things like that. So, if you're doing an industry analysis of the karaoke industry, probably be a good idea to look at a report like this because there's not a report just for karaoke in Ibis World. We can also go back and search for uh, convenience stores and get some results that way. And here is our convenience stores in the U.S. or gas stations with convenience stores, either one. Uh, so there we go. Convenience stores in the U.S., another good report to look at as you're doing, uh, if, if you're working on the team that's doing the convenience stores uh, 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 business plan. The next database we'll look at is called Mintel. And the way Mintel works, when you first get there, you have to go down and say, I agree to their terms and conditions. And then if you have not done so, uh, you actually have to create a personal profile in order to use this. So you can just give them your email address, your Ohio email address, and create your own password there, and they'll send you an email later to, um, to confirm that. Um, I have already created my own account, so I'm going to sign in here. And once again, if we go up here and search for karaoke, we're not going to get anything, but if we search for things like Asian, Asian will give us things like um, ethnic foods in the U.S. It's a nice you know, market research report there. So so good stuff there, okay. Uh, we can also go in and search for, um, let's search for convenience. And so here is uh, the convenience store food service in the U.S. So if you're doing the report on that, um, nice information there. If we go in and search for maybe nightclub instead of karaoke, Here we have nightclubs in the U.S., a little bit dated, uh, a little bit old there, but here is on-premise alcohol consumption trends, which is basically is talking about drinking in bars. So it would be a place to look for that kind of information. So it's so good to know about that as well. Like I said, there's not anything in here specifically about karaoke uh, business, but you can, you can probably use some, some of the data in here on some of the other stuff. The next database to look at is called Passport GMED, and just like Mintel, you have to scroll down and accept their terms and conditions before you can use the database. Once we're into Passport Gmail, there's a couple of different ways you can use this for your particular project. Now, if we actually go up here and search for karaoke, um, it's not really going to give us a whole lot of information. Um, what it's going to do, it's actually going to reference um, these things, these reports called consumer lifestyles in particular areas. So if we go to consumer lifestyles in China, um, it's finding the keyword terms. If we click on show whole report here, we can actually go down and find where it's pulling out karaoke. And it should be highlighted. Uh, sorry for the scrolling here. There it goes. It's highlighted right there in karaoke. Okay. And so that's, it's really that's the only in instance of it bringing up the term karaoke in this particular report. But if you look at this report, this report covers all kinds of things, such as eating and drinking and smoking and, and consumer expenditure and things like that, consumer trends. So this would be a good report to look at if you're looking at 
um, not only the karaoke uh, business plan model, but also the, the folks who are doing the research on the um, the convenience stores. Okay, so I know part of the business plan refers to the business the the business uh, or uh, business plan for convenience stores in in uh, U.S. for particularly for Asian uh, population for the international students. But so you might look at it, you know consumer lifestyles from other other areas. So. You can also go up here and let's try to search for convenience. And we'll just do convenience stores there. Do a search there. From the list of results there, you get all kinds of information you can look at. For example, we scroll down, we find things like convenience retailing market drivers. We find things like, um, uh, if we scroll on down some more, convenience, convenience, convenience. Keep going. All kinds of good information here, some nice articles that you can find to use for, for your paper. As an example, here's one that says convenience stores in Taiwan become a strong competitive factor. So this report will give us some good information that we could probably use on our convenience store business plan where we're serving Asian students in the U.S. So good information that you can find there. If this list of information becomes overwhelming, you could also go in and actually limit by country or by region. What I would recommend first is going down and filtering this by whatever part of the world you're interested in. So let's look at maybe, um, uh, let's do US. Okay, so we do that. And then you might also go down and limit by country reports because these are going to get you these uh, industry overviews here. So here we have retail in the U.S., consumer lifestyles in the U.S., brings those reports up back up again, and where people buy things like cigarettes, ice cream, stuff like that. Of course, you can also go back and get rid of USA uh, and change that. If you're looking to market to um, um, Asians in the U.S., you can actually do that and go back and, and limit um, by uh, go, go look at uh, reports about China, so you can do that as well. So one good way that you can look at um, look at that as well. So another place to look here is uh, business source complete, and what you can do is actually go in and type in convenience stores, and then type in Asian Americans, and this will give you good content on um, articles. We get 17 articles here, not too many, but you can see that we're getting things from convenience store news, which is a nice publication for what you're looking at. So here we have things like the Asian persuasion, tapping into the Asian market, different kinds of, of, of articles like that that will give you, you know, small, small little bits of information that look like uh, they might work uh, work pretty good for your for your paper there. So good good content there. I will say if you go in and search for uh, karaoke, I don't think there is anything. Uh, um, anything in here much on karaoke um, well we get we get some there let's see so we get um, some articles that mention the term karaoke uh, what if we do karaoke and uh, United States let's see if we get anything there okay so now we're down to 67 so that's a that's a way to to get some other things uh, um, from articles like Business Week uh, Billboard uh, places like that. So if we do karaoke United States and uh, uh, let's do Asian maybe, we'll try to see if that gets the same thing. Didn't get anything that way, but we might do karaoke and Asian and let's see if we get any articles that way. Okay, so we get 19 articles that way. So so good information um, that you can find, find there. Finally, this is a database called Academic Search Complete. It looks just like Business Source Complete, but it's looking in different kind of publications. And so this is actually a better, uh, might be a better resource than Business Source Complete, particularly on the karaoke topic. If we do that and click search, uh, we get some different kind of articles, consuming karaoke in China, um, karaoke is coming home, perspectives of schooling through karaoke, okay. Um, so different things like that. So you can go in um, and, and find things like it. You can also go in and limit to just a karaoke over here on the left-hand side, click update. And then now we're down to 214 articles um, about about karaoke, which may be worth looking at for uh, for your paper paper there. Hopefully this helps you understand some of the tools that are available to you. Uh, once again, you know there's not a whole lot specifically on convenience stores 
geared towards international Asian students or for uh, making karaoke bars in the U.S. So what we found are some information on just convenience stores, consumer lifestyles, alcohol and, and eating and drinking places, things like that. So you can use that content to as, as good information as you write your papers and business plans. If you need more help, look for the contact link on the business blog and I'll be glad to help you any way I can. Take care.